Uh, I'm here joined by Dr. Diana Howard, our Vice President of Research and Development. And I'm really excited, Diana, because today we're going to talk about our most recent product launch, which was Ultra Calming, one of our most successful to date. It's a product line very dear to my heart because, as you know, I have a family history of eczema and dermatitis, and I was one of the testers for Ultra Calming. And uh, this completes sort of our segmentation of Dermalogica. It's a very important segment for us. We've got a lot of clinical data talking about the results we got with reducing redness. So what I wanted to talk about today is how do you measure the reduction in redness or sensitivity or inflammation, because it's going to vary on, on a visual depending on the pigmentation in the skin. But how do we know that ultra-calming truly calms the skin? And I know you have some machines here that you work with in the lab. And that helps us measure, but could you maybe explain how they Certainly. work? It's actually quite simple, and it's not a matter of somebody arbitrarily looking at the skin and saying, oh, yes, it's reduced in redness. Or feeling, oh, I right. think it's better. This is all quantitative. Right. This is very objective. There's no personal input there thinking, oh, I think this or that. This is a Mexameter MX18. It's a piece of equipment that we have uh, hooked up to the computer that we use in the laboratory. And it's a very simple instrument in that it measures the amount of melanin in the skin or hyperpigmentation or pigment. Mm -hmm. And it also measures erythema or redness. Mm -hmm. So what we can do with this mexameter is we can take the skin anywhere, whether it's on the hand, the arm, the face, any portion of the body, and we can measure the degree of erythema or redness um, pre uh, using a product and then post using a product. But what we really wanted to do, Jane, is we wanted to see how effective this was if you really could induce irritation, mm. inflammation, redness to the skin. Mm. So we used the mexameter um, in conjunction with induced waxing testing. Mm. And what we basically did is we took regions of the arm, which I'm going to show in a minute, and we put it into two zones, A and B. A was our control and B was the treated area. And what we basically do is we use the electrode and we touch it to the skin mm -hmm. and it takes the measurements and then we take about five in each zone and we take an average reading. Mm -hmm. And so it gives us quantitative measurements of what the amount of redness in the skin is. Or we, inflammation. Or inflammation, yes. The skin. Um, and so we're measuring the amount of inflammation in the skin mm -hmm. just as a standard baseline. Mm -hmm. Then we wax the arm. Because that'll do it. Induce mm -hmm. lots of erythema inflammation mm -hmm. in the arm. Then we treat it with the individual products. And for today's little demonstration, we're going to use our Ultra Calming Mist. Love. And we're only going to treat one region. And then we're going to wait 30 minutes, take readings again. And we're gonna, so we're going to look at pre post-waxing measurements of redness, and then 30 minutes after. Just by using the ultra-calming mist? On, only on the treated portion and compare it to the untreated portion. Fantastic. Very exciting. Yeah. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to have my assistant, Annette, mark off my arm into two regions. And we're going to basically make a control region and the region that's going to be treated. And this is so, as you'll see in a moment, we're going to be able to take our mexameter readings in um, a particular zone and compare it to the zone next to it that's going to be treated with product. And this will pretty much enable us to control the area that we're looking at. OK, so we've got our little boxes here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the first set of mexameter readings. And I'm taking five, region, five readings in this area and we're going to get the average of these five. OK, so that's region B. Now I'm going to do region A. And what is that little beep is? That's basically telling me that the computer has registered the data. And it's going to calculate the average of those five readings with the mexameter. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to wax the arm. This is obviously, those of you who've done some waxing know that it can induce um, quite a bit of erythema or redness in the skin. And that's what we want to do. We want to create some redness, some erythema, some irritation, inflammation, call it what you will, in the skin. And then we want to treat the one side, the region she's working on right now, which we're going to call our region B. We're going to treat that with our mist, ultra calming mist, which has uh, a high concentration of our ultra-calming complex in it, 
which is made up of the oat vena anthramides and bisabolol and chamomile and ginger. Didn't even hurt in that. <laughs> So that's region B done, and now we're going to do region A. But before we apply any product, we're going to do mexameter readings again. And this is going to be our post-reading, meaning post-waxing. Very meticulous. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it all in. Years of all that speed waxing <laughs> here at the International Dermal There's Institute. There's a lot of hair removed here. Okay, now I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I can certainly feel a little bit of that irritation and redness happening already. So I'm going to take now the post reading. So we're back to region B. And now we're going to do region A. And our computer is then going to tally this. OK, now what I'm going to ask Annette to do is to cover up region A so we make sure none of the mist gets on that. And I'll hold it here to help you. And she's going to spray region B with our ultra calming mist. Oh, it feels cooling and calming already. Thank you. So now we're going to take a 30-minute break, and we'll let the ultra-calming mist do its thing, reducing the erythema in this treated B zone. And we'll come back in the 30 minutes, and we'll compare with the mexameter the readings on both A versus B. Well, now here we are 30 minutes later. I'm really excited to see the results and, and visually see them, and then, of course, measure them mm -hmm. and see if, if that's sustained. I can already see there's a difference. Yes, but absolutely. Because already you can see the, the, the mottling where the redness is breaking up, mm -hmm. and here it's much more solid red. Right. So visually you can see it. But obviously on a darker skin, mm -hmm. you wouldn't necessarily see that. So let's, let's measure it. Let's see what we've, what we've okay, got. Okay, so we're going to let's start with our treated B side. And I'm once again going to take five readings, and the computer is going to average them for us. That's amazing. You're taking it with the, with the machine, with right. the mexameter, but it's the computer that's figuring out the exact data. Mm -hmm. And now we'll do the control side or the untreated side. Yeah. And you know what, what you need to really understand is and you can still see some redness on the treated side, but you need to look at it relative to the untreated or the control. I mean, some people obviously get, get a little less, a little more, but that's really dramatic. It's very dramatic, and if we look on the computer, it can average yeah. it for us, and it can summarize our data. And basically what we have is we have on the treated side a 30% reduction mm. in erythema or redness with just the ultra-calming mist. Mm. Imagine if you use the ultra-calming mist and layer the serum concentrate over that. Um, you know I love the serum concentrate. Right. The ultra-calming mist is my go-to product on a flight, mm -hmm. um, but the serum concentrate I'm, I'm addicted to in a serious way. Well, there's no arguing, not only with the visual, but there's no arguing mm -hmm. when you see the data recorded. Absolutely. So all of our testing, when we talk about the results we've had with ultra-calming, this is an illustration of it, mm -hmm. but uh, all of our clinical data, basically, we, we test very carefully, very thoroughly, and as, as now, we can explain to our clients exactly how Dermalogica in the lab um, used and tested the product to make sure that we were able to deliver the results with ultra-calming that we need when we're working in the treatment room. And after waxing is a dramatic uh, opportunity, obviously, but also after extractions. Right. If you've gone through an exfoliation and it was maybe a little, a little more dramatic than you expected and you want the skin to calm down, lots of opportunities for ultra-calming. And then, of course, for the target market of sensitive and sensitized mm -hmm. skin, perfect system and no arguing with the results. So I want to thank you, Dr. Diana Howard, for uh, walking us through how we test and record the clinical data specifically for ultra calming. And thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.